So I'm here right now at Taipei, Taiwan for Combitex 2024 and I'm at the MSI booth and as you can see it's very popular. They have a lot of cool stuff but let's get started with the motherboards first. So I have here right now the Project Zero Plus and this is wild you guys. So for the past year we've seen this trend right of moving all of the ports and connections to the rear of the motherboard and that makes for a cable free front. But check this out this thing has what's called the compression attached module or a cam 2 and if you're unfamiliar with the concept it was originally designed for laptops but the smarty pants over at msi teamed up with kingston to come up with this concept right here so instead of two rams sticking out it lays flat isn't that cool now the wheels of my head were just turning my accent is strong so pardon me the wheels of my head were turning and i was just thinking of all the creative possibilities that we could do with that extra space and even with the design but check this out here's an example of what we can do with it so here you see the cam 2 with a nice clean looking water block on top of it and while cooling ram is not new but look at how nice and more integrated that block looks on the motherboard we don't have to deal with this chunky looking block anymore so here's a closer look and this side here gives you a better idea of what sort of aesthetics is possible now let's flip it over and you can see what the module looks like. So here's a closer look at the board with the passive cooling heatsink removed. Now from what I understand, speeds should be super fast just like your normal DDR5 RAM. And compared to normal RAM, CAM2 can actually take advantage of shorter trace runs to the memory modules. So in theory, that means you can hit those tighter timings and higher frequencies easily. So in layman's terms, let's just say that CAM2 should be super fast. Okay guys, so below the Project Zero Plus board, we have this Intel Arrow Lake motherboard. And as many of you guys know, this is the next generation of Intel CPUs. This is actually the first one I've ever seen. All right, now behind me are the AMD boards. Let's check those out. So here we have the Mag X870 Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard. Now, quick fun fact, my first PC build ever had a Tomahawk motherboard. It's always been a popular board because you can get so much for their price point. This one here has a PCIe 5.0 slot, 4 Gen 5 M.2 slot, fast 5G LAN connection, and also Wi-Fi 7. I love these quick release heat sinks. Check this out. Look at how fast and easy that is. Noise. Also, you have the Easy PCIe release right here. You can see it here. It's got a spring release system. Right next to the Tomahawk is the Pro X870P. Now, this one has a clean silver design and look if that's more your aesthetic. And the specs are pretty similar to the Tomahawk except for the VRM. Oh, how cute. We have Lucky the Dragon Bear. And here we have a couple of coolers. This one here is an MPG Core Liquid P-Series cooler. It's got a nice 4.3 inch display which pops out 40 degrees. Now what I like about the MSI coolers is they use a uni bracket. So one bracket fits both the AMD and Intel. If you don't need the panel or if it's just not your thing, we've got the Mad Core Liquid series. Here we got one in black and this one in white. So these fans caught my eye and you can see that there are two different blade designs in the same fan. So I'm spinning them and I'm noticing that it's just one fan. I mean, I thought at first it would be two separate fans, but it's just one fan. So what the design does is that it creates a tighter, more consistent airflow to run in your cooler. Here we have the GTX 4080 Super Expert Fusion. Now all-in-one coolers that are integrated with the GPU have been getting more popular these days. I like how it has a low profile pump which makes it a bit sleeker. And the one thing you notice in the design is that everything is more compact so you don't have to worry about a bulky radiator that is separate 
Okay, so here you see it installed in the case and as you can see here, the form factor is basically the same size as a stock air-cooled card except you get an integrated water-cooled solution here and on that note, the design cues are really similar to their air-cooled ones. Here we have the Big Brother, the 4090 Supreme Fusion. Here you can see the parts. Now let's move on to see it in the case. And same thing, if you didn't know, you think it's a normal air-cooled card at first glance because of the integrated liquid cooling. And there's no like dongle going to a separate radiator. Moving along, here we have a very interesting and detailed looking shroud. Now, this is 3D printed and the thing that makes this unique is that the design was all generated by AI. Now, here at Computex 2024, AI is the big theme. But also, this one is autographed. Hey, I wonder who it, whose autograph this is. Okay, so I don't know if you guys heard that, but this is signed by Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA. So now that AI-generated design makes even more sense. Okay, so here we have another AI-generated shroud for the GPU. This one has a nice copper look to it, and of course at MSI, a dragon would make the most sense. Here we have their 4070 Ventus and the 4070 Ti, super overclocked. So we have the 4080 Super, the Supreme version on top, and the Expert on the bottom. And I mentioned before, the liquid-cooled ones share the same design elements as the air-cooled. Here we got a 4080 Super Gaming Trio on top, and a 4080 Super White version on the bottom. And here's the 4070 Ti Gaming Slim up top and the bottom, so we have the white version. I love GPUs in white, to be honest. Ooh, we have a nice red color here. So we have a pair of 4070 Super Slims here. The deep colored red one is the Slim MLG. And the top is the Gaming Slim version. Guys, remember how I told them to put up a sign? Look what they did. <laughs> you guys didn't know I had this kind of pool here at Comedix, did you? Uh, uh. So this is interesting. This is their data mag, 40 gigabyte per second magnetic portable SSD. So check it out, you can plug straight into your iPhone or laptop and you don't have to worry about it dangling or getting ripped out accidentally because you can attach it right to your device. So what do you guys think about that? MSI booth because I need a breather and I've pretty much uh, checked out everything there is to check out at the booth. Now I just want to check out the other booth and get some relaxation in me. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorite was in the comments down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. It's not, is it? It doesn't seem balanced. Double click. Okay.